Uh, what's up, Degeneration? Welcome to Stump the Stuck, the sports trivia show where you could win my money. I'm stuck in. Joining me tonight is Mr. Colin Wilson, the defending champ, and Jason Sobel. For those of you that don't know how the game works, it's pretty simple. There's seven total, uh, ten total questions, three total rounds. The first round, each participant will get three questions. If they don't know it, they can't get it. They say an incorrect answer. The other person will actually have a chance to steal. This is a all sports show, so we're going to have an MLB, NBA, NFL. Second round is over unders. You need a pen and paper, so if, make sure you have a pen and paper around. If you don't, um, if not, you can put it on your notes app. Um, over under round, I'll say something like, "How many yards did Tom Brady throw for last year?" You'll write down the answer, hold it up. Whoever gets closest gets the point for that question. And then the final round, we'll go back and forth in one final question until someone gets it wrong. I'll explain throughout. It sounds complicated. It's really not. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. Colin, you are the defending champ. Uh, so I will allow you to determine if you'd like to start um, or pass it on to Jason to start off. I won last night starting off first, so I'll, I'll do that again. All right. Um, I get last licks. <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead and start off here. This is Every question is worth two points tonight until the final round, which is worth five. Um, and if you're Drink it along. Cheers. We're going to start off with a NBA question. NBA question to each person, but this is kind of the college twist. So you might might be right up your alley. Simple question. What college did Reggie Miller go to? Starting off easy. Yeah, there you go. Get you on the board with two points. <laughs> no, we don't need any eye rolls. I don't need to hear um, that music. Just put that, that, that music down. Get you warmed up here. Um, with an, and Jason, I'm going to throw this to you. Similar question here. It's like Spell Kristoviak. <laughs> what, what college did Gary Payton go to? The glove. Oregon State. There you go. Two yeah. two. All right. We're off to a good start. I knew you guys were going to be complaining well, about NBA, so I made sure that the NBAs were not too difficult tonight. All right, so let's move on to NFL. I think that there's these are not too difficult as well. Colin, we'll start with you for two yep. points. Just think back a couple months. This most recent Super Bowl, Chiefs 49ers. Who scored the final touchdown? <sighs> the final touchdown of the game. Patrick Mahomes. That is incorrect. Uh, now, Jason, on this round, you have a chance to steal. Um, so two points. If you could steal this, 20 seconds on the clock. Tyree Kill had the big play going down the field, but I don't think he was the one that got into the end zone. I'm going to say Damian Williams. That is correct. Damian Ooh. Williams. It's a like well thought out answer and a nice steal. Sobel takes a four to two lead. And now he will get his NFL question. Same game. Just think back. A couple months prior, save Super Bowl Chiefs 49ers. How many field goals were made in the game? 20 seconds on the clock. I feel like there weren't many. I think there's only, I'm going two. Ten seconds. Two. Two? That two. is incorrect. Colin? I want to say four, but I'll go three. I agree with Jason. It was low. It was a lot of TDs. That is correct. Ah, I was four between two and three. Yeah. yeah. Final score, the way the way to probably think about 31-20, if you remember that, obviously easier said than done to remember that. Yeah, uh, you could give us the score. Goals. That would have helped, Stuck. That, three <laughs> field goals total. Um, all right, so we are tied through two rounds. It's four to four. We are moving on to MLB, um, and I go to Colin here. In 1910, which pitcher became the first and only <laughs> – to ever win 500 games. You should know this. 1910, which pitcher became the first and only ever? Take back to high school, Colin. Games. Come on. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, I mean, if it's not Cy Young, and I don't even know what Cy Young's time frame is, but I guess we'll go with Cy Young. That is correct. Come on. I, I wasn't going to give you, like, old man Young. Jones. Yeah, I mean. Um, all right, Colin takes a 6-4 lead. Here. All right, we're going to go a little more recent, Jason, and uh, we're going to go down to your neck of the woods, sort of, in Florida. In mm -hmm. 2005, it's a little more recent than 1910, 
Which Marlins pitcher set the franchise record with 22 wins in a season? Marlins, oh, boy, 2005. I only have one name in mind. I can't even think about who else it would be. So, Kevin Brown? That is a great guess, but incorrect. Wow. Um, he does have a lot of uh, – he does have a few franchise records for the Marlins pitching-wise. Uh, Colin, I'm going to throw well, it over to you for the steal. The player I want to say I think was already shipped out after that World Series. So, I mean, let me burn some clock here. Let me think of it was some off name. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. I'll just say Josh Beckett. I think he was gone by then. That is incorrect, but uh, uh, another good guess. Um, going with elite Marlins pitchers in their day. Uh, the answer, the D-train. Dontrell Willis. Dontrell Willis. Yeah. Back in 2005. Remember how good he was for that stretch, man? He had a triple was, in the playoffs. Yeah, he had – I remember he hit a grand slam against the Mets one time. He was hitting – and I mean, he was everything. He was must-watch TV, that delivery. All right, if that so question has been if that question had been named two Marlins pitchers, I don't think I get it right. <laughs> well, yeah, you came up with a good uh, Kevin Grau. I think it was a good uh, a good poll. Um, I, I think there was two good polls. So it's six four Colin after the first round. Moving on to the second round, which is the over under round. So this is where you're going to need a pen and paper. I'm going to say something. You're going to re- write it down. We'll reveal at the same time. Whoever's closest gets those two points. Do three questions here. Um. All right, so let's start off. We're going to start with NFL. In 2001, Michael Strahan set the single-season NFL sack record with how many sacks? 20 seconds. So how many sacks? What is the NFL record that Strahan set back in 2001? Ten seconds. Four, three. Two, one. All right, need your answers. Reveal. Oh, I'm revealing. Oh, oh, sorry. I. I, I <laughs> That's okay. I, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 I'm doing this wrong. I didn't listen. Twenty-one and a half. Colin. Colin. You got see yours. I put up twenty-nine. The correct answer is twenty-two and a half. Sobel with the two points there. Um, getting it late. Yeah, you're gonna reveal yeah. at the same time. You're all, you're uh, yeah, both involved no, in these questions. Uh, well, yeah. you totally redeemed yourself for the last second write down yeah. within one within one sack. Um, all right, we are tied at six. Moving on to the second question, MLB. Simple. You're gonna write down a number of innings. What is the longest game in innings in Major League Baseball history? Longest uh, game. Okay. Not time, innings-wise. Longest game in MLB history. Innings. Ten seconds on the clock. I'll tell you when we reveal. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, need your answers. Let's get the reveal. The correct answer is 26. Colin with 19, Sobel with 24. Sobel picks up two Ooh. points there. Ooh. There was a game back in 84 that was 25 innings. This game was back in like the 20s. Oh, wow. It was okay. three hours. It Both pitchers threw starters through all 26 innings, and it ended 1-1. Do you want to talk about how different <laughs> baseball gets in different eras? Um, but go draft, look up that game. How many DraftKings points for the starters of those games? Yeah, I mean, seriously. And then the other game that was 25 innings that was in, like, the 80s went, like, nine hours over two days and, like uh, – Was that the Mets-Braves July 4th game? That game went long, too. There's a couple that have gone 24, there's, 25. There's Orioles won, too. Yeah. 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 Um, in the morning a couple years ago. But Yeah. Um, all right, so it's moving on to an NBA question. Yeah. Doble now leads 8-6. What is the largest margin of victory? In NBA history, largest NBA history? margin of victory. NBA history. So, what is the largest that one team has won by, regular season or postseason? Largest margin of victory in NBA history. Twenty seconds on the clock. Where's our confidence level now, Colin? Five. Uh, 1.2 now. All right. Let's get the reveal. The correct answer is 68. Ah! Sobel with 67. 
And Colin with 65. Unbelievable. Two wow. great guesses. Back in 1991. Here's the thing. Sobo leads 10-6. The last round's worth five points. So no matter what, it comes down to this. Uh, now you can, if you want, write down what others have said. We're going to go back and forth. Sobo, you're going to start. Um, yeah. There are, I believe, 50, so let me double check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's 15 correct answers to this question. You're going to go back and forth. Sobel starts until one of you can't get one uh, or repeats or just says one that's incorrect. Now, once one of you says something that's incorrect, you're not out of the game that round yet. The other person will have to say one to clinch it. If they can't, you'll have a chance to get back in. Okay. I'll explain as we go. Um, but here's the question. Name the 15. There's obviously a couple teams that are that's happened to twice. But name the 15 teams that have lost – the Super Bowl since 2000. So we're going to start with Sobel. You're going to name one, and then it's going to go to Colin. If you want to keep track of what's been said, feel yeah. free to write them down. So 15 teams that have Super Bowl runner-ups since 2000. Okay. I will go with the New England Patriots. That is correct. I'll go with the Falcons. I know that's pretty obvious. <laughs> the Falcons is correct. Give me the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders is correct. I'll go with the Niners. 49ers is correct. Yeah, tough one. Come on. <laughs> Denver Broncos. The Broncos is correct. Steelers. The Steelers is correct. Cardinals. Yeah. Cardinals is correct. That was next on my mind. Bears. The Bears is correct. Seven remaining. Eagles. Yeah. The Eagles is correct. Panthers ball. That is correct. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, now we're getting down to it. Uh, Five remaining. Does it done well so far? Ten seconds. No, I need an keep, keep me honest on time here. I'm thinking. Five seconds. Four, three, two. The Rams. The Rams is correct. At the last second. Four remaining. I'll take the Titans. The Rams beat the Titans. That is correct. Mm. It's actually in 2000 it happened. It's the first one. There's only three remaining. Seahawks. The Seahawks is correct. <laughs> Two left. Uh, they also won one, but they lost one. They'll take the Colts. The Colts, that is correct. Oh. One <laughs> remaining. And if you get it, what you're going. What? What happens in the game here, Stuck? Well, we have a we have a tiebreaker question for this round. Okay. I'm just trying to uh, – I'm asking questions just so I can keep the time going. Uh... <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds. All right. I need all 10. Five. Hackers. Packers is incorrect. Now, the game's not over. Colin can seal with the correct answer. If not, you'll have one more chance to force the tiebreaker with the correct answer. So keep thinking. Colin, 20 seconds. One of these one of these teams, I don't know if we've said yet. Well, can we review the 14? Because I'm going to say the other one. They played in the Super Bowl against each other. No, you said you couldn't repeat, right? Yeah, you can't repeat. <laughs> so I have no clue if this name has been said. 
I'll take the Broncos. The who? The Broncos. No, that's been said. That's what I thought. Damn it. It's can not, I steal right. it back? You can get you can force a tiebreaker with the correct answer. Okay, so I go. It's my turn. Yes. Chargers. That is incorrect. Colin oh. wins. The correct answer. This is disrespectful to me as a Ravens fan. The New York that, football Giants. Ah, oh, man. What a performance in the final round. You guys got 14 of 15. Um, Colin wins 11 to 10. Um, one of our more impressive and entertaining games. Um, we will – Colin, you seem like you're in deep thought. You won. I, I mean, how do I not remember the team that lost to Dilfer? You know? Yeah, well, it's tough. You guys got 14 out of 15. Um, very I'm just well trying done. to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out how I lost when I led by four going into the final round. We each got seven, and I was declared the loser. I, this is some, uh, some, some interesting. This, this is some but, UFC level uh, judging going on here. But, okay. but you get to go first. Right. You get to go first, so you put the pressure on him throughout. Um, All right. Okay. All right. So. Look, you might not be – we might see you again. Um, there will be more stuff to stock. The playoff bracket is next. We will formulate, come out with the bracket. Um, so, more to come. Jason, hell of a game. Um, Colin, way to back up your win. And um, we'll Cheers, be back Colin. with the bracket soon. Check out our social. We'll catch you all next week. Enjoy your uh, holiday weekends. Cheers. Peace out.